Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey, you can see that it is very, very rainy outside. Very, very wet, very rainy. And I wanted to talk with you guys and engage you um, in this process of what makes a great question on social media. What gets people super engaged, but not only super engaged, what gets them curious about who is this person who's asking this question? Who is this person that is so engaging, right? And one of the problems and challenges that you'll be seeing is there are a lot of people on Facebook stealing your questions, asking questions, copying your questions, etc. And you might wonder, well, what's different about what I'm doing, all right? And I wanna talk to you about the essence of what makes a great question. And there are a few things. What makes a great question that will help you succeed with engagement on social media? The very first thing, by the way, is that it should be something that you can be curious about. Like you don't ask a question to get good engagement. That's not the reason you ask a question. You don't ask a question because it's in the calendar that we give you. You don't ask a question because it got Jeff 900 comments. You don't ask a question for that reason. You ask a question because you are genuinely curious about what people have to say. You want to know if or what or how their opinions will be. And so too often we're not curious enough when we ask a question. We're just copying because someone told us to do it. And you know what? It doesn't work. And you can see the lack of curiosity. You can see the lack of care. You can see the lack of a desire to connect in the way that people respond when they answer the question. And so when, uh, when other people respond and they answer your question, what do you do? If you're not curious, you don't have a second question. You don't even have a comment. And you'll see people stealing questions and they don't reply to anyone because they don't really care. They're not really curious. And so one of the things you might be asking me on this Friday free for all is, well, Jeff, what if I don't really care? What if I'm not really that curious? And one of the answers to that is you have to learn how to be curious. You have to learn how to genuinely care for people. And you have to learn how to be interested in their answers. And you want to see and remind yourself every time someone responds to one of your posts, you want to remind yourself, this is a human being sitting at a keyboard or on their phone replying to my question. This is a person genuinely sharing their experiences. Now, your curiosity doesn't have to be so deep or nosy or anything. It can be light. I asked a question about whether you should throw an underpants with holes in them like it's a marital dispute that I'm having, right? Thank you, Lanita, for that question. I'm genuinely curious about what people will say. I'm not curious about whether they have holes in their underpants. I don't really care, by the way. I'm curious about their responses, about um, their attitudes, about their quirky way they're going to respond to me. I'm not curious about the subject. I'm curious about people, their quirks, their idiosyncrasies, their stories, <laughs> what they say, what they withhold, what they don't say, right? And if the desire to connect is there, then you will be curious because you want to figure out how do I connect with this human being? And so that's the first thing, if there were three things, the first thing when it comes to asking a great question is, number one, are you actually curious about the answer? Do you actually, are you actually interested in how people might respond or might withhold, right? Two, um, the next thing is, uh, when it comes to this, is a great question will normally have a bit of personality to it. Uh, it's never a question that you might get or see, uh, you know, on those security type questions for like banking, like what color was your first car? What was the name of your first pet? No one's really interested in what color a first car was. There's no personality there. But if you ask someone, how much did you pay for your first car? Or how, how long did you own your first car for? Or what make? Uh, or who paid for your first car? Um, or, um, 
How many cars have you owned in your entire life? These things are curious or interesting, right? And so, uh, and you would ask that question because there needs to be personality involved because you care about cars. If you don't care about cars, I don't really care about cars, I might not ask that question. But the most important thing is do you care about the people that are answering the question? But any time you can put some personality or story into a question, it makes it great. So the one we used about underpants, help me solve this marital dispute. Should you throw underwear with holes in it? It makes it personal. It gives a sense that we're having an argument in my house about it. People love that. It's a little voyeuristic. It's got some humor to it. Okay? So be very sure that one, you're genuinely curious. Two, that your question has a personality to it. And then three, the other thing to make sure of is that you use that question to start conversations and that you ask more questions. Because remember the entire goal to post on social media <laughs> is to start conversations, not get real estate deals. So continue to use these to ask further conversations. I hope that's helpful in our Friday free for all. Remember that the question is just one part of it. How you respond, how you engage, and how you talk to people is what will truly build authority in your niche. When people talk about themselves, they form a bond, they form an attachment, they're gonna like you some more. And if you get them talking even more, they'll like you even more. And if they like you even more, they'll refer you even more. And if they refer you even more, you'll sell more real estate. That's how it works. Much love on this Friday free for all done on a Thursday because I'm quirky. We'll talk to you